Moving right along, we got the classic football. Actually, it doesn't look so bad from looking at the screenshot, guys. And uh, I can take a good guess that might just be O.J. Simpson, but don't prove me on that one. And next up, guys, I've seen quite a few videos of this one. Uh, I might try it out myself, and that is Thunderball, which is a ported pinball game, uh, video game for the Odyssey 2. As you see right there. Next up, we have Out of This World and Helicopter Rescue. See the back right there. Also have War of Nerves. And one game I never really understood, guys, but uh, might check it out, is Pachinko. Now, I believe this is like an old school, uh, weird game from back in the day. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'll definitely do a little gameplay on this one and see what I think of it. Got another dual uh, game cartridge right here, guys. This is Armored Encounter and Sub Chase. And as you see right there, pretty uh, basic games right there, as you can see. Kind of like a combat meets air sea battle kind of uh, games right here. And next up, guys, we have Showdown in 2100 AD. And, whoop, sorry about that, guys. Just knocking everything over. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, I can't remember the uh, one game. It's kind of like Gunslinger. That's what it kind of reminds me of from just looking at the screenshot. And last but not least, guys, I wanted to show you one of the American Odyssey 2 games. And, of course, one of the most well-known. And that is the infamous KC Munchkin. Now, of course, people will totally say this is a Pac-Man clone. Yeah, but you know what? Compared to Pac-Man, I actually do like playing this a little bit better because it's a little more challenging. It's not as flickering as on the Atari 2600 version. And, of course, guys, I actually did get a few or a few uh, overseas games. Uh, I believe they were from Europe, but they do play on my Odyssey great. Now, of course, this is Casey's Crazy Chase. And, of course, the, uh, the boxings were different. Of course, this is in plastic. And if you open it up, guys, they didn't really have the, uh, you know, I believe this is in uh, French. As you see right there, La Grande Ch Chasse de Bois for whatever. Yeah, but no uh, real screenshot, just the game. Or just the uh, Odyssey 2 label itself. And I also have UFO. Right there, if I actually didn't show that before. And of course, guys, uh, let me see if I can find it here. I got a Pix Pickaxe Pete. And of course, you can see right there, it's all in, uh, in French. And when you open this one up, of course, the same thing. It just has the name of the game, <laughs> but uh, doesn't have the artwork on the front cover. And lastly, guys, we have uh, Demolition and Blockout, or Demolition, Destruction, Blockout, and Breakout. And, of course, you had another uh, French, some French writing over here. And you see right there, no artwork, but, of course, I have the manual for it. All right, guys, so I'm going to bust out some gameplay of this stuff, and when I'm going to show you next, so you'll get a good kick out of it, so uh, stay tuned. One Magnavox Odyssey 2 console, check. With the responsive controller... Self-centering, check. One super old school black and white TV, check, check. And of course, I'm going to set this down here quick, guys, set it up for you. Now, of course, the Magnavox Odyssey 2 can't function without KC Munchkin for the Odyssey 2, one of the launch titles. We're going to pop this sucker in real quick. And before we even get into the game, I just want to give you one note, guys. If you do have this or you're planning on getting it, when you play this game, you have to go in the direction. Because if you're moving up, you stop, he stops. So you have to keep moving along, moving along, okay? So uh, let's get into some of the gameplay here. And that's some retro goodness right there, guys. I'm going to turn it on. And of course, with the console... 
uh, you get select from zero through nine. Now the thing is, if you uh, press, you know, uh, zero, one, two, or three, there's gonna be four different mazes. Now if you press four, uh, it's gonna generate a different maze each time. No mazes alike. Uh, if you press five, six, seven, or eight, the generate mazes that disappear when your munchkin's moving. It's pretty hard to know where you're going. All right, guys. So just a little bit of uh, advice there. Now, of course, uh, there's all kinds of weird scoring uh, on here. When you, uh, well, like I said, this is hard enough because I'm having a black and white TV. But if you uh, eat the white munchie, it's a point. If you eat a flashing colored munchie, it's three. Of course, if you eat the first muncher, it's five. Second, ten points. Third, it's twenty. All right. So I'm pretty much not going to know what I'm doing. I need the color TV for this, but I wanted to give it a little bit of effect using the black and white. So let's start up with zero. And let's get into it. And I died that quick. So, And if you notice, guys, the dots here, they move. Of course, right there, I ate the first one. Now, of course, if you see them kind of flickering, that means that they're uh, recharging back to their normal uh, state. Just gonna wait for him. And I ate all three of them on the spot. So now they're going back to their box to regenerate. As I'm still going around getting the uh, the uh, pellets. Now the one drawback to dying here, guys, you start up all over again. So you have to go back and eat up all 12 of the pellets. And they don't give you that much time anyway. As soon as you uh, get that pellet, you have to eat those ghosts really fast. So, of course, this would help me if I had my color TV, but it's a pain in the butt as it is just to get the damn thing working. And, of course, you'll see here, guys, getting that last pellet is kind of a pain in the butt. So you gotta, you know... Uh, Head it off. Everyone can once say, yeah, this is a Pac-Man clone, but it's definitely a lot different, guys, than, you know, your basic Pac-Man when, when it came out on the 2600. The dots didn't move. For one, you have to go after them, as I'm going to try to get this one right here. And i got to, you know, evade three ghosts and try to get my last pellet. Oh, I'm dead. But anyway, guys, that's KC Munchkin. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's very self-explanatory. I'm sorry I didn't go too much in depth with the game. But, uh, yeah, for all the games you've seen here, if you want me to do a, uh, if you got a request for a gameplay video, I don't, you know, don't hesitate, hesitate to ask. If you have any other questions, drop me a PM or a comment concerning the uh, Odyssey 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, have a great one, guys. Cheers.